today I'm going to take you through how to do this looping gif um, kind of f echo effect that it just looks quite cool and quite retro and funky and it basically stays in the center of the screen so that you can use this in like a, a walk cycle or a gif so it just you know constantly stays in the screen and you get this tail end of like echoes instead of the echo kind of instead of you moving it around it stays stationary and you just get this tail end on the text so let's just jump in so firstly what you want to do is create a new composition I'm doing 1080 by 1080 just to keep it square and simple um, we don't need 10, we need 10 seconds let's create that and um, once we're in there I'm just going to copy and paste this text in but all you have to do is create a text um, and what I've done is I've added a stroke on it um, inside black and the outside is white uh, I've got a stroke of two pixels and what I've done is I've left I've centered it on the left side of the screen because I'm going to move it from left to right um, so firstly what you want to do is you want to open up the, P, uh, the position keyframes uh, I want to separate the dimensions right click separate and what we want to do is keyframe the Y position and then go ahead to one second and move that down so I'm going to move it down like that and as you can see I've already got the echo effect applied but let's just say we delete that so we've not got no echo effect on the text and we want to jump forward another second and we want to copy and paste these two keyframes and like so just keep doing that so what it should do now once you've done that make sure you go ahead properly it should go up down up down up down yeah so it's going up and down up and down up and down and let's get the last keyframe on there and now once that's done we want to go to the beginning and we want to position the X position so click the position keyframe come to the other end of the timeline and just drag that out to the right and what you get is these zigzags which is the position going up and down at like a zigzag um, but obviously we don't want it to be so linear like this so what we want to do is drag and select these middle keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them on a Mac it's FN F9 if you don't know um, so now it's got this smooth curve it's going up down up down it's, it's quite smooth um, and now what we want to do is obviously apply the echo effect so if you go into your effects and presets just type in echo and now apply it I've already applied it um, and what I've added is a number of echoes of 20 and what we want to do is composite it in the front so now we should get this effect which is quite nice but it's moving off the screen which is not what we want so the next step here is to create a null so right click null and what you want to do is open up the position keyframes separate those again and if I'm correct it's Y and we want to basically drag it back onto screen oh no we want to do the X position sorry and go to the end of the timeline and then drag this back out so that we want to obviously to make sure we see what we're doing we want to pick whip to the null and then as we drag it out there we go so we want it to end just on the center here just on the end of the screen so that basically what happens is we're creating the tail so if you if you just pulled the pick whip to the thing it wouldn't go up and down properly so here we go should play it and it should go up and down and you get this tail effect which is quite nice yeah as you can see it's working so once we've done that it's going all the way to the end of the composition nice and now what we want to do is pre-comp this layer so once we pre-comped it let's call this echo loop and move all attributes to there so now we're in this layer we've got it going from left to right cool it's all good uh, what we want to do is duplicate this layer but before we do that let's actually center this uh, this frame so what we want to do is bring up the rulers um, and that's command R and just center the rulers so that we've got 
uh, an eye of where the center is. And then what we want to do is move this position to the center of the screen. So that's about right. And then obviously move it down if you want it complete dead on. But obviously you might want to move it back up once you've done the steps because obviously it'll be going down. We've done it going down, so I'll just show you. So now duplicate this layer and right click and click time and then freeze frame. So basically what we're doing is creating a reference layer so that when we move it with a null, it will stay in so we can reference the back to the center. So now what we want to do is, so now it should be playing, it should be going off screen, perfect. Now I want to new and then create a null. Um, and what we want to do is bring up the position keyframes on this one, let's separate the dimensions again. And let's just X the keyframe there. And what we want to do, I'm sure you can understand what we can do now. We want to pick wicket, pick with, pick with it to the null. Nice. And now simply drag the X back to the center. And obviously what we've done there with the reference is now we just line it up. So we get that nice and lined up. Like so. Perfect. And now if we turn off the guide layer, what we have is our stationary tail end text that's kind of coming center right. And like I said, it obviously it's going down the bottom of the screen now. So what you want to do is just bring the position up of, I think you do on the, yeah, we do it on the null because we've obviously done that now. So just bring that up to where you think the center is. So that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of in the middle. Let's bring it down a little bit. So that's the effect done. And now let's just say you want to color it, but you also want to have like multiple versions of it. What you'd want to do is literally create a new comp. Let's just say this is the comp that you're going to be editing it. It says GIF. Um, and what you want to do is drag your echo loop in. So we've got the layer. Oh, wrong one. Did we not name it? Oh, clearly not. So obviously we didn't name it. So what we want to do is drag in comp one. I didn't name it correctly. So let's just do echo looped and drag this one into the comp. <clears throat> and now this one should be centered and it should be working perfectly fine. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, now if we go into the effects and type in tint, double click that. And now if we just color that uh, blue, a bit too dark. And now the white, let's just give that a nice tint, a green. And that's how you color it. And if you want to swap the colors, as easy as that. That's quite, it's quite garish, isn't it? There we go. That's quite nice. Anyway, that's the effect. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too hard to follow along. I haven't done a video in a while, so bear with me there. Um, but yeah, it's a super easy effect and it will look really cool in GIFs. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like the, hit the like button. If there's any videos you want me to do in the future, be sure to let me know in the comment section. I'll get onto them. It's been a while, but I will get onto them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, check peace out. Bitch.